Okay, guys, this is my MRM Reaper frame. Um, I'm just going to go over all the components that I have on it and then some of my thoughts about the frame afterwards. Uh, this little thing that I have it on is uh, dirt made by Dirt Tracks. It's made for cars. But I was actually doing some work on my camera right now, and I'm like, I'm just going to try this thing out. It actually works really, really well. So in case you're interested in that, I can put a link in the description below. Okay, um, so just starting with components to start off with. Uh, Runcam Eagle, as you guys have seen in some of my other videos. Emacs 2205, 2300KV motors, spinning uh, RK Racecraft props, 5040s, and Flycolor ESCs from Gearbest, um, 30 amp. They've been working out really, really well, running BL Heli S on there. Um, the video transmitter is right here, and it is a Hobby King version. I'll give you the model. I In my last crash, I broke off the SMA connector, so I actually ran um i soldered onto the board because uh i broke off all the tracers i ran some wires out here to over here and you can see that the wires are just popping out of the bottom right here uh, where i ran the two wires and now i actually have this little extra plate here that I, i'm running which is a flexible plate that now i won't uh, damage that anymore. so uh, if i change that transmitter in the future i will run a pigtail on it um like i stupidly did not in the beginning I'm um, running a Lemon RX, you can just barely th see it through there, it's a nice small receiver. Haven't had any reception issues with it whatsoever. Um, running the Matic uh, PDB down here, it's a, always a fantastic PDB, I use that in a lot of my builds. And um, SP Racing F3 board, um, I, a lot of people hate the board, I don't know why, I, I love it, it's fantastic. I'm going to be, I'm running beta flight uh 2.9.1 i think on this and i'm going to be upgrading to 3.0 pretty soon once i uh watch josh bardwell's video on it and things to expect with it <laughs> of course we all watch josh now uh, which is fantastic he does a great job okay um just a couple of complaints about this frame uh to start off with um the screws that that came with it were definitely not long enough to go into the the standoffs. It only went in about two to three millimeters. I always like to run long, uh, long screws through these standoffs. I like to run like eight to ten millimeters through. So, given the thickness of this frame down here, which this, these are five millimeter arms, um, and there's two plates, so five, there's like seven millimeters, and basically there was only three millimeters in here. So, when I did have my crash and I broke the bottom plate, um, it actually pulled out everything so I ran a longer screw that runs almost all the way up into the midsection here I love running the longer screws because it doesn't add much weight and it also just um, it adds strength and, and rigidity to your frame these are titanium screws that I took from the bottom and I went from the top since these are a lot longer all right and these arms are uh, are it's not all one piece uh, you can see how thin they are but they are thick they're thick um, um, top to bottom wise but it really creates a, a real a thin cross section as you're going through the air, which is really nice. But they are four different pieces. Um, they're interlocked together like a puzzle piece when you put it together. Uh, so they do stay nice and straight. But there's a there's a straightening plate that goes on the bottom uh, that holds all the arms uh, in perfect uh, alignment. Uh, definitely one of the best quads that I've ever flown. Um, although my experience is uh, still at. Uh, maybe a little bit above noob level, but I'm, I'm definitely uh, trying to get stick time in every day. Flying every day at least three to six packs right now. Um, running the the tattoo batteries that I that I got in, which are running fantastic. I really, really like them. They're giving me a lot of power. And uh, that is it, guys. Hopefully you like this little overview. Of course, my Amway antenna. I'll go over this antenna in a future video. So anyway, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this quick little overview on the MRM Reaper, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.